بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس آئی ایم کمل فاروق کیانی فرام دا فزکس ڈپارٹمنٹ آف سینئر گرلز ونگ آف اے پی ایس فورٹ روڈ راول پنڈی آئی ویلکم یو ٹو آن لائن اسپورٹ پروگرام ڈیلی ویڈیو لیسن فزکس فار کلاس ٹینتھ اسٹوڈینٹس وی ول اسٹارٹ فرام چیپٹر ٹین دیٹ از سمپل ہارمونک موشن اینڈ ویوس The topic that we are going to discuss today is simple harmonic motion and motion of mass attached to a spring that is given on the page number 2 and 3 of your textbook. At the end of the lecture, students, inshallah, you will be able to state the condition which are necessary for an object to oscillate with simple harmonic motion and you will be able to describe the simple harmonic motion with mass attached to a spring. So let's start from the basic term which is vibration. A vibration is to and fro motion of a body about a fixed position or a body is said to be in vibrating if it moves to and fro or back and forth about a point. Oscillation is an other term for the vibration. Basically vibration and oscillation both are same. So then what is simple harmonic motion? Simple harmonic motion is a to and fro oscillatory motion in which acceleration of a body is directly proportional to the displacement of the body from the mean position and is always directed towards the mean position. And mathematical formula for the simple harmonic motion is acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement. Some basic examples of simple harmonic motion are mass spring system, ball and bowel system, vibrating tuning fork, swing and simple pendulum. Before discussing the example of simple harmonic motion, let's recall Hooke's law that we studied in the previous class, class 9th. So what is Hooke's law? A force that is applied to a spring is directly proportional to the displacement. Means F is directly proportional to X. If we increases the force, the displacement also increases. Or if we decreases the force, displacement also decreases. And when we remove this sign, that is a directly proportional sign, then we apply a constant with a sign of equal and that constant is called K. Motion of mass attached to a spring is the best example of the simple harmonic motion. So let us consider a mass attached at the one end of the spring while other end of the spring is fixed with a rigid body. The mass is placed on the horizontal frictionless plane so that its weight and the reaction of plane being equal and opposite to each other. So they cancel the effect of each other. So at point O the net force is zero. Now if the spring is stretched or compressed through a small distance x from its mean position as shown in figure B and C, it exerts a force F on the mass M. According to Hooke's law, this force is directly proportional to the change in length x of the spring as formula is F is equal to minus kx. Initially the mass M is at rest at mean position O and the resultant force on the mass is zero as shown in figure A. Suppose the mass is pulled through distance x up to extreme position A and then released as shown in figure B. Then the restoring force exerted by the spring on the mass will pull it toward the mean position O. Due to restoring force, the mass moves back toward the mean position O. Restoring force and applied force having the same magnitude but the opposite direction. Now the magnitude of restoring force decreases with the distance from the mean position and becomes zero at the point O. However, the mass gains speed while moving towards the position O and its speed will become maximum at the position O. 
then the body does not stop at the position O while it continues its motion towards the point B and that is due to the inertia. Inertia is the property of a body due to which it continues its rate of motion at rest. So due to inertia, the mass does not stop at the mean position but continue its motion and reaches the extreme position. Now as the mass moves from mean position O to the extreme position B, the restoring force acting on the body towards the mean position and steadily increase in strength. Hence the speed of the mass decreases as it moves towards the extreme position B. Then the mass finally come back to the rest at extreme position. Ultimately the mass return to the mean position due to the restoring force. This process and is repeated and the mass continued to oscillate back and forth about the mean position O. Such motion of a mass attached to a spring on a horizontal frictionless surface is known as simple harmonic motion. Now as shown in figure A, the body or the mass is at point O. At point O, the forces applied on a body, weight and reaction force, cancel the effect of each other. That's why body is at rest. And in figure B, when we apply some force and body move through some distance x, then the restoring force acting on a body and due to restoring force, Restoring force is always equal to the applied force but opposite in that direction and it moves the body towards the mean position. So when we releases the mass then due to restoring force body moves towards the position O but body does not stop at the position O and continue its motion due to inertia. As we know Inertia is the property of a body due to which it continue its state of rest or motion. So body moves towards the position B due to inertia. Then body come back to the position O due to the restoring force. And this process is repeated and the mass continue to oscillate back and forth about the mean position. Now, the basically, the mathematical expression for the motion of mass attached to a spring. As we know, x is the displacement of the mass from its moving position O and k is a constant called spring constant defined as k is equal to minus f by x. Spring constant is the ratio between the applied force and the displacement. Basically, the value of K is the measure of stiffness of the spring. As stiff spring has large value of K because stiff spring required large force to oscillate and K and F having that direct relation with the each other. That's why stiff spring have large value of K and soft spring has small value of K. And the SI unit of spring constant is Newton per meter. As we know, according to Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to MA, therefore K is equal to minus MA by X. Or if we rearrange this equation, then we can get A is equal to minus K by M into X. K is a spring constant and M is the mass. So K by M is constant. That's why when we remove this constant, we apply a sign that is the proportional sign. So we can say that a is directly proportional to x. It means that acceleration of a mass attached to a spring is directly proportional to its displacement from the mean position. Hence, the horizontal mass spring system is an example of mass spring system. The negative sign in the above equation shows that force exerted by the spring is always directed opposite to the displacement of the mass because the spring force always acts towards the mean position and it is called restoring force. A restoring force always pushes or pulls the object performing simple harmonic motion towards mean position as shown in the figure.
and figure Fs is the restoring force. Now let's discuss the kinetic energy at the different position in the mass spring system. So basically we have three positions, position O, position A and position B. Position O is the main position, position A and B are the extreme position. So at extreme position, mass comes to rest and at that position, velocity becomes zero. And we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. If velocity decreases or velocity approaches to zero, so kinetic energy will be zero at the extreme position. Now, kinetic energy at the mean position. At the mean position, speed is maximum. Therefore, kinetic energy will be maximum at the mean position. Now, potential energy at the different position in the mass spring system. Now, as at extreme position, mass comes to rest, therefore, displacement is maximum. So, potential energy will be maximum at the extreme position. As we know that potential energy is equal to mgh. h means height or displacement. Potential energy having direct relation with the displacement. So, potential energy will be maximum at the extreme position. And at the mean position, the displacement x is 0. Therefore, potential energy will be minimum at the mean position. So, here is a table of velocity, acceleration, kinetic energy and the potential energy. In the first column, we have extreme position A, mean position O and extreme position B. And then in the next table, we have velocity, then acceleration, kinetic energy and potential energy as we discussed in the previous slide. The time required to complete one vibration of a body is called time period and the time period of simple harmonic motion of mass attached to a spring is given by t is equal to 2 pi under root m by k m is the mass k is the spring constant and t is the time period so at the end what will be the condition for the simple harmonic motion number one the system should have restoring force. Secondly, the system should have inertia. And thirdly, the system should be frictionless. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.